Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new fixing video and today on my hand Samsung A10 phone a few days ago my daughter threw this phone inside a bucket full of water and because of this this phone is water damaged the phone was submerged inside the water for a couple of seconds and immediately we removed the phone from the bucket but within this 2-3 seconds uh, the water get inside the phone the water is visible uh, below this display there is some water here then we try to turn off the phone but the task was not working task probably damaged because of water so if your phone accidentally drop inside the water what you need to do you need to power off the phone as soon as possible if you are able to power off your phone 90 percent chances is that your phone will survive but on my case i'm not able to turn off the phone because the display uh, because the task was not working if you guys able to open the back cover of the phone that will be awesome because then you can remove the battery or disconnect the battery from the uh, phone and it will save the internal circuitry and for my case this is a phone uh, it need couple of special tools to open it so if you guys know how to open it just open the phone and then use some um, hot air uh, gun or something like that to dry up the phone or if you don't have anything just put the phone in the sun uh, that will dry the phone and I recommend you guys do not use the phone for three four days until unless all of the moisture or water inside the phone get dried uh, and in this case the phone is is still working but I think the display is dead so I'm going to show you guys I'm just calling on this phone so let's call on this number I'm just calling and it's it's ringing but there is no display so I think uh, the problem with the display so uh, guys today in this video we try to fix this water damage phone so guys let's get started so first thing we need to do we need to remove the sim tray so here is the sim ejector and remove the sim tray now we need some pry tools like this to open this phone and if your phone is uh, glued your back cover is glued then you need to heat it up then you can open it so it will be a little bit hard if your phone glued but if you never ever open a phone it is a little bit tricky i know how to open this phone so it will be really easy look at this guys i just in, inside this let me zoom in and show you guys and you just insert in take your time So as you see guys, I will open one side. Now guys, as you see, I able to open the phone easily. <laughs> okay, little bit struggle. Now here we have a couple of screws. We need to open it. And the phone is already worn, so I'm not able to turn off the phone. So after uh, carefully open all of these screw, we will disconnect the battery. So here we have total 8 screw. Simply flip set the screw. Now here is the battery connector. This is the battery connector. So we are going to disconnect it to turn off the phone. Now the power of phone is turned off and on the bottom side we have total 80 screws. Let's open all of these screws one by one. So guys as you see there is no sign of water inside this because I am opening this phone near about 4-5 days after the incident happened. Within 24 hours after this phone submerged inside the water the display stopped working so I ordered a brand new display it's an aftermarket display. So guys let's unbox it and find out it's inside the, this box. It's a aftermarket display. It's not a original display, but hope it works with the phone. So that's the 
display. So guys, I just connect the display with this logic board uh, and also connect the battery. And now let's turn on this phone. This is the power button. Okay, as you see guys, uh, it's showing the display. Samsung A10, phone is standing on. Now you see guys, the display is working properly without any problem. So it's showing little bit bluish because of the color temperature. Uh, it's not bad, display is good. Now let's check the touch. Okay, touch is working properly and display looks good. Guys, before installing the display, thoroughly check it. Check it if there is any problem, any dark, bad pixel or anything like that. Any problem with the display, touch is working properly or not. Check it, check everything and check all of this color every color is showing or not so check it and when you think the display is good then install it because once you install a display and after that you found any problem with the display the company will not going to return this display and give you refund so check thoroughly before installing the display so i checked it and it's working good so i'll turn off the display and we will go our next process is the is addressing the display with this frame out of out of the phone now guys we're going to remove all of this component this board this cable this logic board camera because we're going to heat this part because it is glued on this frame and to remove this display we need to heat it and because if we heat it we can damage this camera so let's remove everything one by one Is the charging board and here as you see guys this become red uh, this is water damage indicator before water damage it was white so if um, certain amount of moisture or water get inside your phone this water damage indicator turned red that's how service center knows your phone damaged by water to remove the board we need to unscrew this screw this one. guys here is the front camera it is so incredible that how we human can make this kind of sophisticated things amazing this is the front speaker and this is the vibrator module it's glued with the frame so i'm not going to remove it try to change your own display it's better to remove this lithium ion battery because it's flammable and if you put a lot of it it this battery can caught in fire so it's better to remove the battery but i think uh, i can do it without uh, heating this battery now guys we're going to heat this display to soften the adhesive i'm heating around 120 degree so after heating the display we need we will use this kind of plastic thin plastic and try to put it inside this display and now we're using some ifofoil alcohol to soften the glue as you see guys there is some water on the display this side this side so water probably get inside from here and here is the circuitry that also get damaged because of water and then display stopped working now guys we're going to clean this extra acid adhesive using some isopropyl alcohol guys if you don't clean this excess glue the display will not fit properly so it's very important to clean this old glue Next guys, we're going to use this B1070 double-sided tape electronics repair tape. So we're going to put this dual-sided tape on this phone frame here, this way. So guys, as you see how I put dual-sided tape on this phone frame, as well as on this display 
Now we're going to place the motherboard and all other components on the back side of this frame. Now let's attach the display, put this display cable inside this frame and make sure the display is aligned properly. Do not put much pressure because it can damage the display. Now everything is screwed and let's place the back cover inside the seam. Turn on the phone. Phone is turning on. So guys, as you see, the phone is skin is repaired, touch is working properly and display looks quite good so guys as you see the phone is working perfectly we successfully able to fix this auto damage phone but unfortunately we not able to save the display so guys that's it for today hope you guys like this repair video and if you guys have any questions and suggestions let me know in the comment section below i definitely try to reply every one of your comments so that's being said my name is Richard. i'm signing out and i will meet you on my next video till then bye bye